Today we will be learning about measuring capacity with customary units, and away we go! When we measure a volume of liquid, we call that measuring capacity. In the customary system, there are five units that we will be learning about today used to measure capacity. Most of them you see frequently at school, at home, or at the grocery store. Milk comes in most of the sizes. The largest unit is the gallon. Milk is frequently in these large containers. It is followed by the quart. Some schools sell milk in pint-sized cartons, while others sell this or other drinks in cup-sized cartons. The smallest size we will be take, talking about is the ounce. So we don't confuse this with the ounces used to measure weight. We refer to ounces measuring volume as fluid ounces, and they are very small. Having a difficult time remembering all of these? I may have a solution for you. The land of gallon for customary capacity. Welcome to the land of Gallon. Once upon a time, there was a royal place called the land of Gallon. In the land of Gallon, there lived four queens. Each royal queen had a prince and a princess. Each prince and princess had two children. And each child was eight years old. <laughs> Now, how does knowing about the land of Gallon help us learn about capacity? Let's find out. The G in Gallon stands for the largest unit of measurement in capacity. You guessed it, the Gallon. Remember the four queens in the land of Gallon? Each Q stands for the next largest unit, the court. There are four courts in one Gallon. How many princes and princesses did each queen have? Each queen had two prince and princess. And the P in prince and princess stands for pints. There are two pints in each court. How many children did each prince and princess have? You got it, two. The C in children stands for cups. And there are two cups in each pint. And how old was each child? Each child happened to be eight years old, and the eight represents the number of fluid ounces in each cup. Knowing about the land of Gallon will help you to remember your units of capacity. Always draw a picture and always remember the land of Gallon. It is important to use your resources to help remember things like units. I always draw the big G when converting capacity because it helps me to visualize, visually see what I'm trying to compute. The conversions are as follows. The largest size we have is the gallon, and inside each gallon are four quarts. In each quart, you have two pints. Inside each pint, there are two cups. And finally, inside each cup, there are eight itty bitty little ounces. Okay, so now we're going to solve a few problems um, using the conversion chart. Notice that I have the uh, land of gallon chart over here, which I always use, as well as a typical conversion chart up here. So I'm trying to go from three gallons to quarts. I see up here that there are four quarts in one gallon. And that means if I were to have three gallons, I could find out how many quarts I have by multiplying three times four. Because I know gallons are the larger size, I know that I'm gonna have many more quarts than I would gallons. So my answer would be 12. I would have 12 quarts in three gallons. In this problem, now I'm going to be going from eight quarts to cups. I know that quarts is the larger unit and cups is a smaller unit. So that means it would take a lot more cups than quarts to make up this number. So I'm going to be multiplying to find my answer. 
I don't have any direct conversion up here that shows how many cups are in a quart, but if I look down here in uh, my big G, I can see that there is one, two, three, four cups in each quart. So I'm gonna use that information um, and multiply eight quarts times four cups in each quart, giving me 32 cups. The answer would be 32 cups. For my next problem, I'm going from 20 pints to quarts. Now, pints is the smaller unit and quarts is the larger unit, which means I would need less quarts than pints. So I'm going to be going in the opposite direction. I'm going to be dividing. So if I see up here that I have two pints in every quart, if I take my 20 pints and I divide it by two, I will find that I am going to get 10 quarts out of 20 pints. Let's do one more and then I'm going to have you do a couple on your own. Here in this question, I have four quarts, one pint, which is one of those messy problems, and I'm trying to go to pints, the smaller unit. So here I have quarts, the larger unit, and pints, and then I'm going to pints all together. So I'm going to leave this one out for a moment, and I'm going to focus on just the quarts. So again, quarts is the larger unit, and I'm going to a smaller unit, so that means I should have many more pints than I do quarts. And if I look up here, I have two pints in each quart. So if I have two pints in each quart and I have four quarts here, that means I'm going to multiply four times two to get eight pints. But then I have to add back in this one pint I have up here, giving me nine pints. So the answer to my problem is nine pints. There are nine pints in four quarts in one pint. Now here there is a problem for you to solve. Go ahead and pause the video while you solve this problem and then unpause the video when you're ready to check your answer. Good luck. Okay, hopefully you had time to solve the problem. Um, I'm going to move this out of the way. Now I have 32 cups, cups being the smaller unit. That means I'm going to need fewer gallons than I would cups. So I'm going to be dividing. Up here I can see um, I don't have any direct connection from cups to gallons, but if I look down here in the big G and I count, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 cups in each gallon. So I would divide 32 by 16 and get my answer of two gallons. Let's try one more. Here is another problem for you to solve on your own. Pause the video while you solve the problem and when you're ready to check your work, go ahead and unpause the video. Good luck. Hopefully you had enough time to solve the problem. Um, so we're gonna go over our answer here. I'm going from six pints to cups. Pints is the larger unit and cups is the smaller unit. So you're going to need a lot more cups than you would pints. And here I can see that it's gonna take two cups for each pint. So I'm going to be multiplying and I'm going to multiply six by two to get my answer of 12. There are 12 cups in six pints. In this lesson, we learned how to convert customary units of capacity. Join us next time as we explore customary units of weight. Thank you for joining us.